obviously has a lot of skill, but he's got that edge to his game as well, hasn't it? Can get him a little bit into trouble, but I think most of the top players have what he has temperament-wise. Yeah, I think the uh, referees have to watch out for one or two of his challenges, as the official might have to today as well. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. One main striker, one probably just off it. How are they going to find attacking routes with this formation? Well, whether they can create through the middle, we'll wait and see. I just think today those two wide lads in midfield are going to be important. Both got a bit of pace, capable of getting around the outside. We have three changes for Spurs since they last played. Michel Vaughan plays in goal. Kyle Walker starts with Ben Davis as the fullbacks. And it's good to see them going with two strikers today. Well, special memories for me, Alan. Fratton Park is where I commentated on my second ever game for television. It was Portsmouth against Oxford United in the old second division. Pompey won and created the sort of atmosphere that many younger people will know having heard the noise that they can get from this kind of stadium it's, it's old-fashioned but it rocks it does and we say old-fashioned the dressing rooms are as small as they come really pokey little affairs such an old decrepit ground in many ways but one that it's, it's an old-school atmosphere always enjoy playing here cut out the pass promising build-up until that challenge that's proper clearance well away from the danger zone and Evans tackle here Kyle Bennett Could have got. I think the referee's showing how he's going to officiate this match. It's going to be a free kick. He's not going to stand any nonsense. Toby Alderweireld. Kyle Walker. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. They cope with it well defensively. Shots on here. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. So it's a corner, and Portsmouth have to try to deal with it. the one out well he's put it away brilliantly that kind of chance has come to him so early in the game no. I have to say, he reacted what the heck really sharp right from the off and they've taken the lead here he followed his instincts he followed the play in and then he followed watching the ball into the net yeah lesson for any schoolboy just to make sure you follow shots in that you're in that danger area it's a turnover in play. Timmy already scored. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Musa Dembele. And Evans. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And he's threaded the pass through neatly. A good, saw the goal and went for it. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Here comes the cross. Well, the cross looked good, but it didn't turn out that way. Good forward play from them. The equaliser here. No, no. Dang it. That's a great chance. Oh man, Cow's feeling it too. Some options now for the pass. Ah, pressed him there to running the ball out of play. Deli Alley. It's Ben Davis.
frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball opportunity now a well saved and this will be a Portsmouth corner that's good support play from his teammates just working away to try and find an opening chance from the pass oh that's great defending well they have cleared the danger it was a decent opportunity i think nice interplay between the two of them could be dangerous opportunity to cross it now they spread it out wide here Chance to get some width into this attack. It was good progress with this attack. Got the tackle in. Victor Waniyama. Here's Walker. He's still going. Fine run, this. Pass one defender. Well, here comes the support. Walker! He's made the save. Turnover in play here with that interception. Good challenge here. Trying to switch on the attacking no. situation. Target. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Free kick against Portsmouth. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Defender to it first. Well, Tottenham haven't been absolutely on top of their game, but they are on the right side of the score. We well, could be in. What a chance now! Got to be. Let's go! Here, Alan, haven't they? And this goal proves it. Well, it might be David versus Goliath, but. David has stepped up there big time. David! Goalkeeper was reaching. Brahim! And it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power. Let's go! The ball on the shot for him to get a strong enough touch. So, away we go at one all. Victor Waniyama. Goal news from Sheffield Wednesday. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Let's go, come on. One minute, please. One nil. Thanks, Alan. Oh, no. Made the challenge well. Kyle Bennett. On the attack here. Shot off. That's a good block. It's Ben Davis. Walker. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Three minutes of added time. It's looking good, this move. could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Well, the referee has flown for half-time. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half of this game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, interesting to uh, know what the two managers would have said in those half-time dressing rooms, but I'm expecting a... A really good clash here. No. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Referee sees that as a foul, and it is a free kick. Get off me, Walker. God. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. 
stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, we might get an update on that injury now from our man Jeff Shrees. Jeff. Real concern for the French now because it looks like he landed with his elbow. Let me get him off. That looks like he's good. Both underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Jeff Shreves there, right down on the touchline. So, Jeff, thanks for that. But it's a passing game, and my word, they're passing it well here. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. No. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw in. His teammates will thank him for that. The return ball. Davis. Janssen. Good challenge. Ericsson could be dangerous. Musa Dembele. Christian Ericsson. fault them for lack of effort it's still level and Evans substitute ready for Tottenham Hotspur on well, the pitch not quite wide enough for him there Christian Eriksen throw for Portsmouth and Evans Rose good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. That's a great interception. Into the attacking third. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. To put them in front. Now they have the advantage. A goal from Ericsson, and there was a gap to the keeper's left, and he found that with real power. The problem for Portsmouth having conceded that goal. Twenty minutes of the 90 still to play. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. That's a great clearance. Portsmouth throw. Good forward play from them. Good through pass. That's really well done. Good defending. Guided on by his head. And they've got the ball still. Under challenge. That's good control. Presented possession to the opposition now. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Brilliant football from this team. Here the challenge is a good one. Clark. Defender's done very well to clear that. Throw for Tottenham. Christian Eriksen. That's good support play from his teammates. Rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Through pass. And in goes the cross. 
and heads it towards goal. Tottenham have a corner now. The heck? Ten minutes left, and out comes the goalkeeper right. to deal with the corner. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to g up their players, trying to get behind them. Oh my God! To produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Okay. Come on, come on. Goal news from Barnsley. It's a second goal for Burton Albion. Six minutes from me. Two-two. Bro, run. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date. What the Here's heck? Up. Here's Ali. One thing about these matches, you know, that there's always the capacity for a sting in the tail, but Tottenham will be doing everything to avoid being stunned now. Portsmouth with an advantage here, given by the referee. It's good play until they got that challenge in. It's Eric Dyer. Come on, come on, come on. And Evans. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Maybe the chance to salvage something from this. No! Game. Got the ball now under control and the chance to move themselves forward. Get up the pitch. Burgess. Flag went up straight away, referee flew offside. For Spurs, and their player, who was the culprit, it's yellow. I think in this climate, there's no doubt that's the correct decision. Simpson. And there is the final whistle. It's success here for Spurs. In the end, the prevailing mood is almost despair, really. Yeah, you want to produce when it comes to the showpiece events like this, and most of these lads, in fairness, didn't hit the heights today. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal. They cope with it well defensively. Shots on here. We'll be back. Okay, he's countering this game. The Football Association Challenge Cup. AFC Wimbledon 2, Exeter City 1. Barnsley 2, Burton Albion 2. Burton Albion won 4-3 on penalties. Middlesbrough 1, Bury 2 after extra time. No one ever no one wants anyone one. else. Tottenham Hotspur 2. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Bournemouth 0. Swindon Town 1. Bolton Wanderers, two after extra time.
English Football League 2. Blackpool, nil. Plymouth Argyle, one. Cheltenham Town, nil. Morecambe, one. Colchester United, one. Accrington Stanley, nil. Crew Alexandra, two. Doncaster Rovers, three. Leighton Orient, one. Wickham Wanderers, two. Mansfield Town, one. Carlisle United, two. Portsmouth, three. Newport County, one. Stevenage, two. Exeter City, two. Yeovil Town, two. Notts County, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Portsmouth with 68 points. In second, Plymouth Argyle with 58 points. In third, Blackpool with 54 points. In fourth, climbing the table are Colchester United with 46 points. In fifth, moving down are Notts County with 44 points. In sixth and falling are Mansfield Town with 44 points, but only behind on goal difference. In eighth, Wickham Wanderers with 42 points. Bottom of the table, Newport County with 18 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Morecambe with 28 points. Third bottom, Yeovil Town with 29 points, but only behind on goal difference. Dang, this is great. It's actually really good. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, never see so long like the song say. Shout out to Cheryl, Solange, and Beyonce. Shout out to Devante. Shout out to Fat Tony, Elizabeth Harper. Shout out to the first track off the second Carter. Maybe it was the second one. Shout out to your father. Shout out to your mama. Shout out to Dalai Lama, J. Electronia. Put your pine, yeah, you know why? Come here, God, brother. Looking in the Nissan Elantra. Up in Atlanta. See me in a Honda. Out in La Palma. Feel like Ice Cube and Anaconda. <laughs> Feel like James Bond in the sauna. Feel like I play for Alana. Y'all not saying nada. Me, I'm people. Y'all see through. I see you. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Love is love, man. Cool lady, you best rapper in the world. Cool lady, you best rapper.
a love magic. Magic smiles. Magic's in L.A. You were about the street. You were about the people. And I don't know, I don't remember specifically, but did you ever feel like you didn't quite get the corporate love from the NBA or the push, but you were beloved by Joe on the street? Well, I have you know, a lot of love for you know my people. You know, they had a lot of love for me. Um, I didn't feel like I didn't get my just due. The opportunity was great for me. It was a dream come true. I get a, I had the opportunity to do a lot of things that um, a lot of guys that grew up in my neighborhood would have never had a chance to do. So um, my life is blessed. Did you feel you rep of NBA fans, or did you just go out and play? Um, I just went out and played. I, I, I know uh, I represented uh, the, the culture, uh, the hip-hop culture. Um, you know, I represented um, coming from you know um, the projects right. and um, you know being uh, that person that kids from the project can look up to and know that their dreams can come true. When you would go to the projects and go back, because you were one of those guys, you were very loyal to your friends. That's right. When you would go back, what were you treated like? Um, 